A new tool to fight underage drinking and keep children safe, the West Hartford School District will be rolling it out this weekend at prom. And it's not only the district, it's not only the district that's using this. News 8's Bob Wilson is live to explain how this works. Bob? It's like a breathalyzer, but it's not. It's actually a sniffer. It's just a small little device, very non-invasive. It can sense alcohol on somebody's breath. So as the students are going by, they can just check to see them as they go into the prom. It's small, compact, non-invasive, and it's getting students thinking. I don't think it's a terrible idea. Um, can't have anyone uh, thrown up or making any bad choices, you know, driving around. As student athletes at Hall High School in West Hartford wrap up practice, word is spreading that this weekend the school will use alcohol detectors at the junior prom to stop underage drinking. And I think the issue really isn't during prom. I think it's after prom, and that's how you um, hear about the most trouble that kids get in. And I think that uh, the sniffers at the prom really aren't going to stop it. I think kids are just going to wait until after. Or... Now, I talked to the school superintendent about it, and he said, Believe it or not, they can use these alcohol detectors at any school-sanctioned event from on-school grounds to sporting events. But he said he probably won't use them unless there's been a massive incident at a game and they need to crack down on it. But the parents we talked to say, you know, they can get behind it 100%, especially anything that sends a strong message, no underage drinking. Uh, I guess it's a reasonable idea. I mean, they know they're not allowed to do it, so uh, why not hold them responsible for it? The superintendent says he believes the alcohol detectors will help with the peer pressure, giving students on the fence a reason to say no. I think the school is doing everything they can at the school sponsored event, and I think that's smart, but I think the biggest incident is the after prom at people's houses and, you know, where the school is not involved, and I think that's where parents need to talk to their kids, really. Yeah, I worry about it. I talk to my kids about it. Um, I tell them not to do anything stupid. I West Hartford is not the first to use the detectors, but it is a trend sweeping across the state from neighboring towns to the shoreline. Administrators doing everything they can to protect the students. We can't watch them all the time. Right. So at a certain point, you got to trust that they're, they're, they're going to be at least a little smart, but that's hard when you're in high school. And students caught drinking will face the consequences. As one parent said, you know, instead of selfies, they can just use their mugshot if that happens. I'm Bob Wilson, reporting live in the Hartford Newsroom, News 8.